This is a system built by a student team for the purpose of measuring water flow and recording it over time. This will be installed at a housing development where they're measuring water flow into the development. They currently have piping leaks in the water system. And when they have a large water leak, they'll get a large water bill at the end of the month. And they don't know they have a leak until they actually get the large bill. So we are putting the system in as a community service to help them out so that they won't get uh, surprised by large water bills. If they have a leak, the system will be able to de detect the excess flow and signal an alarm. The heart of the system is an Automation Direct Click PLC that is accepting a pulse input, a discrete on-off input, from a switch contact in the flow meter. Presently, we are simulating the flow meter by a small relay driven by a signal generator at a very low frequency. So we're just doing testing on the system right now, and that's why it looks so messy. This is simply set up as a test, we're doing burn-in testing, making sure all the components are working the way they should, as designed. So the PLC receives the pulse input from the flow meter, does some calculations over time, over set intervals, to calculate gallons per minute. Each pulse of the flow meter represents one gallon, so 30 pulses in a minute would be 30 gallons per minute. What we're doing is displaying the flow rate on this HMI. You can see the light right there blink on and off with the contact as it makes and breaks. We have a flow graph uh, showing minute by minute flow. We show hour by hour flow, day by day flow, and week by week. And presently we have no data for the day and weekly flows because we have not had the system running that long. We can also set the water flow alarm. If we want the alarm set point to be at a different value, we can actually type in a different value. I'll set it for 38 gallons per minute instead of 40. We can activate and deactivate the system. We can change the sample rate over which we measure the pulses to calculate water flow. The greater the sample rate, the less often it will update the flow, however, the more resolution it will have. Currently, we're measuring a GPM of 32.5, simulated, of course, by our signal generator over here. In the main window, we also see the instantaneous flow rate, or I should say update every minute in this case, the set point for the alarm, <coughs> and as you can see, the navigation buttons for all the different graphs. So this will give the home association much more data than they presently have. At the present time, all they have is a manual readout on one of their flow meters that they have to check by hand by sending a person out there and logging the data. And of course, that becomes tedious over time. This system, as I said, will monitor the data flow, monitor the water flow, I should say, gathering data, calculating uh, flow rates and graphing them 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. It's also equipped with battery backup, so if they lose power, these batteries will keep the PLC running for a substantial amount of time. Also, in the location of the PLC, we have a smaller touchscreen where they can monitor basic parameters such as uh, instantaneous water flow and alarm set point. One thing I have not described about the system yet, but it's critically important, is the radio link. The way the system is built, the PLC and the flow meter are in a remote location, and the main HMI is going to be in their maintenance shop, which is about a thousand feet away. There's no way for us to practically run wires between the two locations, so we are using a spread spectrum serial data link to do the job. Here we have our spread spectrum uh, transceiver at the PLC end. You can see it transmitting and receiving. It's communicating 9600 baud using Modbus protocol, essentially acting as an interface between the PLC and the HMI touchscreen. On the HMI side, which will be in the maintenance shop, we have a matching spread spectrum serial unit. You can see the transmit and receive lights blinking there. So essentially the two radios take the place of a long cable that would normally connect the HMI to the PLC. So this system is currently undergoing burn-in testing. We're setting up right now. We've had it running for almost a full week, just making sure everything's running as it should, nothing's getting too warm, uh, everything's logging and uh, calculating data as it should be. We don't have data uh, daily averages or weekly averages because we had to do a shutdown earlier, but the rest of the system has been continuously running for about a week. And then once we're ready, uh, we're going to install this at the site and give this home association their new water flow measurement system.